Hey everybody, this video brings us out to Bluebell, Pennsylvania. And the reason why we are in Bluebell, Pennsylvania today is because we are here at the St. Dustin's Episcopal Church, which is actually a pretty amazing looking in church. Look at this, it is very, very old looking. Tried to go onto the website to find out what year this church was actually built. And when you click the about page, it um, says under construction. So not entirely sure, I'm hoping maybe for a a corner, wait, oh wait, are we in luck? I think we actually have a cornerstone over here. It says 1965. So I gotta be honest, I thought the church was way older than 1965. I, I don't know, maybe it was just rebuilt or something, but this church is still pretty awesome looking. The stonework and that giant window up there, that is really, really cool. But the reason why we're out here today has actually nothing to do with the church building in of itself. The reason, why we are out here today is to see something that we love seeing, or at least I love seeing. I know many, many of you are like, really? Another one of these? But yes, another one of these. This is something I, I love, and it's my goal to find as many of these in the area as I possibly can before we eventually do move down to Florida. The reason why we're out here today is to look at yet another labyrinth. We are gonna check out another labyrinth that supposedly is over this way. I say supposedly because there are indeed signs for this labyrinth. There's a sign when you pull in to the actual church. There's a sign right here, I believe, that does say labyrinth. And yes, labyrinth that way. There's also a sign over here that says St. Dustin's Labyrinth. The issue is, I'm guessing a labyrinth, the labyrinth must be very, very close to the ground because it looks like nothing more than a field over there. So either this video is gonna be a complete bust and the labyrinth has disappeared, or we're gonna get over there and realize the labyrinth's more kind of like built into the ground and we'll see when we get over there. I have no idea. Either way though, the reason why we're here is for a labyrinth, but I'm still just blown away by how amazing this church looks. I'm also thinking there's a lot of very loud trucks driving down Skip Back Pike. All right, so there is a path here and the sign says St. Dustin's Labyrinth, Eagle Scout Project, BSA Troop 98, dedicated September 14th, 2008. So there you go. Looks very much like the um, the labyrinth. Well, I don't know if that's the actual labyrinth that we're gonna see. I believe that's uh, that's the labyrinth there for the one they have in um, at uh, Notre Dame, I think. Anyway, it's over here. Sean has found it. So I don't think that's quite how it's gonna look, but it's gonna be a little bit different. So you said you found it? Yeah? All right, so you walk. All right, so you walk down the path, follow this, follow this stone path, and then, oh, wow. This is gonna be a little confusing. This is gonna be difficult. So um, we're at another labyrinth that clearly hasn't been kept up very well. This is now the second one in a row. You can see it's just simply brick placed into the lawn. So you'd have to cut this pretty, pretty flat. You have to cut the, the grass pretty low to actually be able to see the labyrinth. All right, well, this is gonna be a bit of a challenge. I mean, again, you can see the, the brick here. So there is definitely a labyrinth. We have, we have found a labyrinth. It's just, um, it's, it's, gonna be a, it's gonna be a bit of a challenge, but you know what? I'm up for a challenge. You up for a challenge, Sean? He's already doing the challenge. All right, we're, we're gonna figure this out. Okay, so Sean says to follow him. He thinks he figured it out. This is, wow, yeah, this is really, really confusing. You honestly wouldn't really even know this is here if there weren't signs for it. Where are you going? Okay. I think we go. That is, yeah, okay. This is, this is super confusing. <laughs> I am not entirely sure for actually doing this labyrinth correctly. There are some spots like this that look, look kind of nice. It's just the, um, over here, not so much. So the idea of building a labyrinth directly into the lawn, I think, wait, what happened here? Where'd you go? We go this way now. I think we go this way now, don't we? So the idea of building this labyrinth directly into the, um, the lawn probably seemed like a really good idea. And I'm sure when this was actually built by the Boy Scouts, it probably looked fantastic. It's just that um, over the years, I'm sure the bricks have sunk a bit into the ground, plus the 
the grass growing over top of it. Cause I'm truly really just, that, that, was, that was probably the idea that they just want to come out here and just mow flat over this. I get it. I get the, the idea of why they did it this way. And again, it probably looked amazing when they first built this, but um, I think time has sort of taken its toll on the labyrinth and now it's sort of weird. Do you know where you're going? Yeah. This way and then, and then, and then this way, I think that way. Okay. Maybe go that way. Okay. Again, it's, it's very confusing. I will say this though, the fact that it is actually like this and difficult to, to figure out where you're going, it kind of adds a little bit of fun to the labyrinth, if you will, because it is, it is a bit of a challenge. It's not just your typical labyrinth where you just, you just walk the, the trail and you know where you're going and everything's good. This one here offers you a little bit, like I said, a little bit of a challenge where you have to really pay attention to where you're going, where you're walking. No, this way, buddy. You gotta, you gotta pay attention to those, those bricks in the ground. Again, it's very, very difficult to figure out where you're going, but I, I think as long as you kind of like pay attention to when you see some bricks in the ground, you can kind of figure it out. So you know what, the, the more I think about it, I kind of like this labyrinth. It's, um, it's a little different, it's a little interesting. I have no idea, like, just completely disappears right here, but I think we go this way. Yeah, honestly, okay, yeah, we're, we're still good. I still feel like I'm completely lost. Yeah, I'm thinking we go, yes, we go this way. Got, again, gotta look for these, these bricks right here. Honestly, it's mostly where the shade is that makes it very, very confusing. Yeah, I think you go that way and then around. I honestly think we're figuring it out. I'm pretty sure we've got this. It's actually a pretty decently sized labyrinth as well. This is not one of those, those quick ones. This one takes um, a little bit to walk through, which is good, because then you could be you get at one with yourself, Get some some peace, some tranquility, if you will. I think. Do we? Is it still straight? No, wait. No. No, that that way. I don't know. Yeah, is it? I'm so. I'm so confused. So yes, peace, tranquility, be at one with yourself, but also, no, this way, buddy. But also, you're gonna be confused with yourself, and you're gonna you're gonna get a little lost maybe. If I had one suggestion to make, it would be that if the uh, Boy Scouts wanna come back out here, maybe redo this or um, update it or whatever, I would say maybe paint the, uh, the bricks, maybe just paint them white or something so they do stick out a little bit more. Maybe that's what you'd have to do. I don't know, because I feel, feel like even if they do come out here and they redo this, maybe put new bricks into the ground or something like that, What's gonna end up happening is the same exact thing. The, the bricks again are gonna sink into the ground. The grass is gonna grow over the top of them. And it's just gonna be more of the same. So I don't know, maybe if you painted the bricks white, maybe they would show up a little bit. Are you lost now? Yeah, look at this, see? Parts of this labyrinth are, it just sort of, dis it just sort of disappears here. Yeah, that's, that's really, really confusing. Um, Wait, I think, now, now we're definitely lost. Okay, I think we're back on the trail now. I think, I think we figured it out. We just kind of went straight there and then it sort of brought us back to the yeah. beginning. And then, to, oh, did we do it? Did we, we found, yeah, we have. We have found the center yeah, of the, of the labyrinth. Wait, just it is very, very confusing. But this again, this was a very- now it's time to go back. <laughs> this was a very oh. interesting labyrinth again i like the way they did it it's an interesting um idea of the bricks just put directly into the ground it's just that again over time this is like i said this was built back in 2008 so over time the bricks have definitely sunk a bit and on top of that there's grass that has grown over top of it even though they do keep this mow this 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 lawn has definitely been mowed it's just that right here i feel like more maybe more maintenance needs to happen more more weed whacking maybe they need to just take a weed whacker just go along the bricks, but then they had to pay somebody probably extra to do that. And again, when it comes to churches, there's a fine line as to what you want to spend your money on. I'm sure this church needs a lot of upkeep. They've got a lot of money. They got to put into heating and air conditioning and just keeping the building looking amazing like it does. By the way, it looks fantastic. So I'm sure uh, the idea of paying somebody extra to come out here and do some weed whacking and a little bit more maintenance on the, on the labyrinth probably isn't their priority, if you will. But um, Still, I don't know, maybe just just have somebody do a little bit of wee whacking. Maybe the Boy Scouts should come out here 
and do a little bit of, of weed whacking. I have a weed whacker. Maybe, maybe I should contact the church and we should come out here and we should weed whack the brick. I, could, I, would, I would be down for that. I would, I would do that for them. That'd be awesome. So I don't know, may, may, maybe, maybe I'll contact them. Maybe if they let me go inside there and see how amazing the church, that, that's, that's my payoff. I'll say, let me go inside, film the amazingness. That's probably your church because it probably looks fantastic inside there. And then I'll come out here and I'll weed whack your, your bricks for free because did you, did you figure it out? Or, no, there's no way you went through that already. Did you cheat? I think Sean cheated. I mean, in all fairness, it is very difficult to figure out where exactly you're walking. So Sean probably took a few shortcuts by accident. But on top of that, it is a labyrinth. And like I always say, labyrinths are the, the anarchy of mazes. There is no right way. There is no wrong way to do a labyrinth. You can actually walk a labyrinth any way you want. You can run it. You can skip it. You can walk it. You can just, you can walk over. You, you, don't, you don't have to pay attention if you don't want to. You can, you can walk directly over top of the lines. You can just walk straight to the middle if you really want to. It's just, that, that's the fun thing about a labyrinth. You can do it any way you want, enjoy it any way you want, and just sort of, just sort of take in the labyrinth. Look at that, you can kind of, you can kind of sort of see it. You can, you can see it a little bit if I just, if I pull back here, look at that, there you go. But it's actually still very, very difficult to see. Still though, I'm, I'm having fun. I'm enjoying the challenge that this labyrinth presented to us. I think what I'm loving most about this is the fact that Sean seems to be having a lot of fun with this labyrinth. The last couple of labyrinths we went to were just pretty typical ones that you just, you just sort of walk. There wasn't really anything all that special about them per se. Again, I like the fact that every single labyrinth that we go to seems to be done differently. Some are like this, some are done in stone, some are done in bricks, some are done in, in the gravel. Other ones are, are done painted onto concrete. Every one is different, which I find really interesting. It's sort of like a snowflake. No, no two labyrinths are the same, but sometimes, you know, it's just, okay, another labyrinth that we're walking, but this one here, I mean, look at Sean, he's having a blast over there walking this one, because again, it does present a little bit of a challenge. He's having fun trying to find the actual path. So I'm, I'm torn. I'm torn between, yeah, maybe they should come out here and do some weed whacking, or maybe they should paint the actual bricks white. But then on the other hand, I'm thinking, but the, the challenge is fun. And clearly a nine-year-old is loving the challenge. All right, guys, so I think that's just about gonna do it for the labyrinth here at the St. Dustin's Episcopal Church in Bluebell, Pennsylvania. Pretty awesome, pretty amazing labyrinth. Again, I like the design of it. I like the uniqueness of it. I like the fact that it is just brick into ground. Again, yes, it is a, an extremely difficult labyrinth to actually walk through because, um, well, the grass is overgrown and the bricks are sinking into the ground and it's, it's difficult. It's a challenge, but it's a fun challenge. And if you like labyrinths, this is definitely one I recommend checking it out. A fun roadside attraction, if you will. Very, very awesome of this church to have this here. Very cool, the Boy Scout group to build this back in 2008. It would be cool if it came out, maybe did a little bit of maintenance on this. I would love to see it get it weed whacked or painted or something like that. If they ever do that, I will definitely come back out here and check this out again. But I highly recommend you come out here and check this out if you are a fan of labyrinths. Again, and not, not promoting this, not sponsored by this, but if you want to find a labyrinth near you, go to labyrinthlocator.com and you can find out what labyrinths are actually near you. I guarantee you, you probably have about 50 or so right in your general area. Labyrinths seem to be everywhere. And I have a blast finding these. These are one of my new favorite roadside attractions to find. I love a cool labyrinth. And again, I love the fact that every single one we go to seems to be different just slightly or sometimes completely different. No two labyrinths seem to be the same. And I love this one here. It's interesting, it's unique. And I love the fact that Sean is having a blast with this labyrinth. But all right guys, I'm gonna let you go. So if you've ever actually been out to this labyrinth, leave your comments down below. If you ever walked, walked this labyrinth before, tried to find the trail, if you've ever done the challenge of the labyrinth here, the St. Dustin's Labyrinth, Leave those comments down below. But all right, guys, as always, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts, proceeds both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon to help support the show and to keep the show going. So I really do appreciate that. And if you watch this video all the way to the very end, what should today's hashtag be? Seriously, more labyrinths. Hashtag today should be seriously more labyrinths. Yes, seriously, 
more labyrinths. That's what we need, more labyrinth videos. And I guarantee you more labyrinth videos will be coming your way in the, in the future. I'll try to space them out, but we will be getting more in the future. But all right, guys, again, that is it. St. Dustin's Episcopal Church here in Bluebell, Pennsylvania. You can't, from here, you can't even really see the labyrinth. It just disappears into the grass. Crazy. I know, it's like, depending on where you look at it, you can't even see it. But all right, guys, again, that is it. So like I said, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And if you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, then I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys. Bye. Bye.